Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our guest is returning guest, Dr. Raphael Kelman, the founder of Microbiome Medicine and the Kelman Center for Integrative and Functional Medicine. He's joining us, uh, returning on the show to discuss his brand new book, The Microbiome Breakthrough, Harness the Power of Your Gut Bacteria to Boost Your Mood and Heal Your Body. Welcome back to the program, Dr. Kelman. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, a, a bit of background uh, for those who um, aren't familiar with you when you were here with us before. Well, um, I'm a medical doctor. I graduated Albert Einstein College of Medicine, did my residency in internal medicine. I've been doing holistic, uh, functional medicine really from the get-go all the way back to 1990. <clears throat> and then I got very interested in bacteria and the power of bacteria um, to heal because I'm very interested in the big picture about understanding nature and how nature can give us insight into how to help people get better and how we as clinicians can help our patients. So bacteria, that bacteria, there would be no life on earth. So I was so fascinated with bacteria and I knew from the get-go that they must be playing a similar profound role within us on our health. So when the research came out about the microbiome, I was right there, you know, ready for it. Um, knowing about it, you know, from the beginning, the power of bacteria. But with the microbiome breakthrough is that we, with technology, we began to see how profound and how overwhelming virtually, how powerful, virtually overwhelming the microbiome is, how powerful it is, the sheer number of bacteria that they outnumber our own cells uh, 10 to 1. So, and they're the healing bacteria. So I got so fascinated with it and, and, you know, I became really um, uh, oriented, my, the type of health that I, that I offer patients is very much rooted in the microbiome, how to use the power of bacteria to help us get better, because these bacteria are our greatest allies, and they know how to help us heal better than any scientist or any pharmaceutical company. We really need to tap into its power, because we're beginning to see that this power is awesome. Let's cut through some of the uh, possible confusion that exists out there about bacteria. Usually uh, when we're right. young and we learn about bacteria, it's always a negative about bacteria. You have to wash it off your right. hands. You have to not put it in your mouth. You have to disinfect right. against it. What makes bacteria beneficial? Well, again, this is the revolution. Um, it's the greatest turnaround in science in 150 years coming from this old idea that bacteria are all bad and they have to be eradicated and the source of disease. Well, it's the exact opposite. When bacteria, bacteria in general, when they're in the right context, when they're working together as a healthy whole, they are the, 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 the definition of health and healing. They're the sine qua non of health and healing. The problem is when they're out of balance, when our inner ecology of bacteria are out of balance, then we can get you know, a rogue or runaway bacteria that got lost and they're using their power to hurt, to make us, you know, uh, disease ridden, so to speak. But if we know how to heal the microbiome, we can bring things back into center, into, into a balance. And then we, the power of bacteria is all favorable, is all health oriented. So it's a really, it's a great turnaround. Bacteria need to be looked upon, the bacteria within us, the microbiome, as the healing uh, force, as the great healing ally. And we need to begin to see it that way so we can use its great power to help us overcome so many intractable chronic diseases, help us improve our mood, help us with depression and anxiety, help with weight loss, help with gastrointestinal disorders of all types. And so this is all described in the microbiome breakthrough, and it really is a breakthrough. Now, is the microbiome breakthrough, harness the power of your gut bacteria to boost your mood and heal your body, is this a, a diet book, a, an instruction manual on how to eat, or is it a combination of diet and lifestyle change above and beyond what we put in our mouths? Yeah, it's, it is both. It's definitely the diet. It's a lifestyle change. It's a it's it's a different way of understanding the cause of health um, and how to um, and the causes of disease uh, and how to use the microbiome to get us healthy again. So therefore, we need to know what can hurt the microbiome, and it's not just you know antibiotics. Um, it's also um, the proton pump inhibitors like Prilosec and Pepsid. Long term use, they poison the microbiome. 
pesticides, chemicals, um, even the psychological. I talk about adverse childhood experiences, adverse psychological experiences, but they all hurt the microbiome. So it's a, it, you're right, it's a complete lifestyle uh, reorientation. And so it's diet, for sure, the right types of foods that help the bacteria uh, flourish. It could be fermented foods. Um, then there's different pre prebiotic foods that I talk about, whether it's le leeks or jicama or Jerusalem artichokes. I talk about all these different wonderful foods. Um, and then there's the right types of probiotics. You know, you go to a health food store and there are all types of probiotics. So which ones do you choose? Well, you need to understand that microbiome uh, medicine, which I coined, to this, is, is, is a complex field. It's not just popping probiotics. So it's knowing about the right types of probiotics to take. It's also about what types of prebiotics. There's a lot of different prebiotics. These are just nutrients that help the bacteria uh, proliferate. You can get these things in the health food store too. But again, it's about knowing what is the best ones for you. So it's very, very complex. It's, it, it really ranges from A to Z that the microbiome is a um, approach to health and healing really is from diet, lifestyle to a different way of think and a different way of thinking about nature, about our health, about what causes disease and really about learning about this whole new way of approaching health and healing, which is a revolution. It's going to get more and more popular. It's going to become a household term. Microbiome, the microbiome. In your experience, uh, have you found any resistance, or I know you've found some resistance to the idea. I mean, every idea has some resistance. But would you say that practitioners are more uh, readily accepting of this new technology and this new breakthrough? Or would you say that patients who um, want to benefit from it are more excited and more accepting of this new breakthrough? Well, definitely um, patients. People are very excited. The great, there's a grassroots movement and is going to get stronger and stronger. Um, doctors, they, they, the science is there. The science is there, and it's, it's rapidly progressing. So, the, uh, I mean, unless you're deaf, dumb, and blind as a doctor, you have to admit that this is something revolutionary, that the science is there. But they're not, unfortunately, well-versed enough. They're not keeping up to date. So they say, well, you know, yeah, there's an association. We don't really know enough about it. We're, we're waiting, we're, you know. So they're not yet accepting, some are, but most are not yet accepting that it's ready now to be used as a modality of treatment. That all these people with depression and anxiety, that we, they feel, well, it's all nice, but we still, don't, we still can't use that to, to treat depression and anxiety. But it's not true. The research is there that using probiotics, you can absolutely help people with depression and anxiety. But again, it's even beyond that. It's, it's, it's a whole lifestyle change. So they're not yet there, but they do know that there's a, a profound relationship. But they may be waiting for a drug form of bacteria, or they're waiting for some rep coming to their office to tell them about a new you know, type of uh, genetically modified bacteria that's now as a super drug. I'm not sure what it is, but yes, it, the science is there, most doctors accept that, but it's still resistant to make it practical and, and to apply it day to day to help people now. And that's why I, I'm writing these books. That's why I wrote the microbiome breakthrough to tell people, yes, it could be used now as a modality of treatment. If you're suffering from depression and anxiety, you, you, you need to know about the microbiome breakthrough. This book will tell you how, to help, how, how you can help yourself overcome depression and anxiety. And you can learn about microbiome medicine. And there'll be more and more people who are going to be practitioners of microbiome medicine like I do. So depression and anxiety, yeah, now is the opportunity to help, to help people overcome depression and anxiety in a deep way. And also... Weight loss, which I talk about in this book, but also in the previous books, The Microbiome Diet, but I talk about it in this book too. I talk about how it can help with people with gastrointestinal disorders. You know how many people out there, and I'm sure people are going to resonate with this as they hear me speak, you have gastrointestinal issues, you have bloating, or constipation, or diarrhea, or some combination thereof. 
and you have cramps, and you've been to this doctor and that doctor. No one has any solution. That this was normal, that was normal, and you're still suffering. And now you also have anxiety. You're also more depressed. You're moody, and you're not thinking as well as you used to. You could be an executive, and you just can't put thoughts together or whatever. You you just whatever you happen to be doing. You just not, your brain is not your ally anymore. And yet, what do these two things have to do with each other? And you're frustrated. You're not getting help. Well, here's the answer. In the microbiome breakthrough, you'll see that by healing the microbiome, as I outline, both of these seemingly unrelated problems will get better. So, you know, that's why I really want this, like, these ideas to be wide disseminated because it, it is really a revolutionary approach. Where can our listeners uh, get a copy of your, of your book and learn some more about the microbiome and about what you do as well in wrapping up? Well, you know, first of all, this book you can get on Amazon, you can get it in Barnes and Noble and other stores. Real, it's realized this that we now have a great opportunity to improve something so essential, so fundamental, and really the essence of life, uh, bacteria. And by healing that, remember that it has a profound effect on the entire body, especially the brain. It's in constant communication to the brain and with the immune system. So irrespective of what your health issue is from depression and anxiety or gastrointestinal disorders, or you just can't lose weight and you're tired, these symptoms tend to go together. I'm sure many people listening go, that's me. I'm tired. I don't have the energy I used to have. And I have gut issues. And I can't lose weight. And my brain is not what it used to be. And I have fogginess. The microbiome is what ties it all together. And by healing the microbiome, you'll see all these symptoms and problems will begin to get better. Well, I, I thank you for coming back and telling us about your, your new book, this new breakthrough. Um, Dr. Raphael Kelman, founder of Microbiome Medicine and the Kelman Center for Integrative and Functional Medicine. Uh, he's been here talking about his new book, the Microbiome Breakthrough. Harness the power of your gut bacteria to boost your mind and heal your body. Thank you for returning with us, Dr. Kelman. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Great. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio, and I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hbr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Thank you for listening to Health Professional Radio. We're very proud to be an independent broadcaster providing our content free of charge to you, the listener. One of the ways that we're able to remain free and independent is by having people like you become patrons. You can support Health Professional Radio simply by visiting hpr.fm and clicking the button that says Become a Patron. Your patronage of even just $1 a month lets us know that you're there, which in turn makes us more valuable to advertisers. And, of course, if you're able to afford more, then we would certainly appreciate the support. My name is Toby Longhurst from Health Professional Radio. Please visit hpr.fm, click the Become a Patron button, and support us if you can.